From ancient warfare to modern day applications, the art of concealing soldiers and equipment from the enemy has been a crucial part of military tactics. The disguising of military personnel, equipment, and structures by painting them or covering them to make them harder to distinguish from their surroundings is called camouflage. The word camouflage comes from the French word camoufleur, which is slang for to disguise. The methods and practices of concealing soldiers and equipment from the enemy has evolved over time, with new technologies and materials being developed to improve its effectiveness. From early forms of camouflage using natural materials to modern day digital patterns, the art of concealing soldiers and equipment has continually adapted to find novel ways to outwit the eyes of the enemy. Deception, innovation, and technology have all played a role in shaping the development of camouflage. Hi, I'm your host, Dennis Gill, and in this episode of Revealing History, we will explore the history of camouflage uniforms in the military, from their early forms to modern day applications. We will discuss the different patterns of camouflage, the roles in major conflicts such as World War I and World War II, and the innovations that have shaped their development. Let's get started. Camouflage has been a crucial part of military tactics for centuries, and its importance has only increased with the advancement of technology. The primary purpose of camouflage is to conceal soldiers and equipment from the enemy. By blending into the environment, soldiers can avoid detection and reduce the risk of being targeted by the enemy. Camouflage can also be used to deceive the enemy by creating false targets or disguising the true location of troops and equipment. This can be especially effective in confusing the enemy and disrupting their plans. Camouflage also provides protection by reducing the visibility of soldiers and equipment, making them less vulnerable to enemy fire. Military historians have determined that when an army practices the art of deception, the kind that can be achieved through the proper use of camouflage, they have a significant advantage over the enemy. Early examples of camouflage in ancient warfare can be traced back to the use of disguises and natural materials to blend into the environment. The first known use of camouflage by humans can be traced back to ancient Egypt, where soldiers used to paint their faces and bodies with mud. In ancient China, soldiers wore green uniforms to blend in with the surrounding vegetation. Greek soldiers would wear green and brown cloaks to blend in with the terrain, and Native American tribes used natural materials such as animal hides and plant fibers to create camouflage clothing and equipment. While there are limited examples of ancient armies using camouflage on a large scale, the concept of blending in with the environment and using disguises to gain an advantage over the enemy has been a part of warfare for thousands of years. As technology and tactics evolved, so too did the use of camouflage, eventually leading to the development of modern military camouflage patterns and techniques. Prior to World War I, the wearing of camouflage uniforms was not a common practice. In fact, the United States military had no camouflage uniforms at all. In combat, U.S. troops would wear the standard issue uniform, which was light brown in color at the time. As the war progressed, Camouflage played a significant role as it helped to conceal and protect troops and equipment from enemy observation. The development of disruptive patterns and the use of camouflage netting were crucial in achieving this goal. Disruptive patterns were designed to confuse the enemy by breaking up the outline of military equipment, making it difficult to determine the size, speed, distance, and direction of the object. British zoologist John Graham Kerr proposed the application of disruptive camouflage to British warships in 1914 with a goal of confusing rather than concealing. This concept was inspired by the patterns found on animals such as zebras, giraffes, and jaguars. Camouflage netting was another important innovation during World War I with British tanks, for example, using camouflage nets and covers to hide from enemy aircraft when they were stationary. Crews would also make use of local terrain features like woods or ruined buildings to further conceal their tanks. In addition to tanks, camouflage netting was used to cover industrial buildings to prevent aerial bombings. 
Some notable camouflage techniques using World War I include Dazzle Camouflage and Lozenge Camouflage. Dazzle Camouflage was applied to ship hulls using bold stripes, swirls, and abstract shapes to confuse enemy U-boat officers looking through their periscopes. Lozenge Camouflage was used on aircraft of the Central Powers, featuring patterned cloth or painted designs with repeated polygon shapes. The use of camouflage during World War I had a significant impact on military operations, as it allowed troops and equipment to remain hidden from enemy observation, thus increasing their chances of survival and success in battle. The development of disruptive patterns and camouflage netting marked a turning point in the history of military camouflage, paving the way for more advanced techniques and patterns used in later conflicts. It was the principle of disruptive patterns that went into the development of camouflage patterns in uniforms. During World War II, advancements in camouflage technology led to the development of various camouflage designs used by both the Axis and Allied powers. It was during this time that camouflage uniforms really started to emerge. In 1931, the German splinter camouflage pattern was designed and featured interlocking irregular green, brown and buff polygons with vertical rain streaks. The patterns used for the Waffen SS uniforms evolved into more leaf-like forms with rounded dots or irregular shapes. Camouflage smocks were designed to be reversible, providing camouflage for two seasons. The Liebermuster pattern was developed by a German engineer and was one of the last camouflage patterns implemented by the German army during World War II. British forces use a disruptive pattern material as camouflage. Introduced during the war, it was one of the longest-lived single camouflage designs ever to remain in service with a single nation. American soldiers during World War II wore the HBT camouflage uniform. However, this was short-lived because the uniforms resembled the German Waffen SS pattern, which resulted in friendly fire becoming a significant problem. United States Marines, who were fighting the Japanese on the Solomon Islands, began to wear coveralls that were reversible. The design was green and brown and resembled a pattern found on some frogs. The coveralls would become known as frog suits. Camouflage continued to evolve after the end of World War II and through the Korean War years. In the 1950s, U.S. forces were issued camouflage helmet covers and tents. In the 1960s, Special Forces teams, such as the U.S. Navy SEALs and the Army Green Berets, began wearing a pattern known as Tiger Stripe. These uniforms were unofficial and were produced locally. The Tiger Stripe camouflage uniforms would eventually be replaced by the leaf pattern. The OG-107, with the OG being short for Olive Green, became the standard issue uniform when it was introduced in 1952 by the United States military. It was a solid green uniform and could hardly be considered camouflage, but it wouldn't be replaced until 1981. That year, the battle dress uniform, or BDU, began to be issued by every branch of the service. The camouflage pattern was officially known as the Six Colored Desert Pattern, but was more commonly referred to as the Chocolate Chip or Cookie Dough Camouflage. It is better known as the Woodland Camouflage BDU. The Woodland Camouflage BDU was designed because at the time it was issued, the United States had been planning a possible war against the Soviets in Europe. But in the early 1990s, with the fall of the Soviet Union and the invasion of Kuwait by the Iraqi army, the focus had shifted from a woodlands environment to the desert. One camouflage pattern does not suit all environments. It must be tailored to meet the needs of the mission, which is consistently evolving. As a result of the Gulf War, the Desert Camouflage Uniform, or DCU, which was similar in pattern to the BDU, was developed. By the early 2000s, the United States Army had adopted the Universal Camouflage Pattern, which employed a digital camo design. The UCP, over time, was found to not be a suitable replacement for the BDU. During the Global War on Terror, Special Forces troops opted to wear the Desert Strike Camouflage, which was commercially available. The UCP camouflage pattern would soon be replaced by the multicam pattern, which was replaced by the Army and Air Force's OCP, or Operational Camouflage Pattern. 
There is no doubt that the uniforms worn by both the United States military and militaries around the world will continue to evolve in the future. There is an increasing focus on developing camouflage uniforms that are tailored to specific weather conditions and topographies, providing better concealment for soldiers in various environments. Different military units, such as snipers, are being provided with specialized camouflage uniforms to enhance their effectiveness in specific roles. The development of the smart uniform that can be adapted to the surroundings and provide better concealment is a growing trend in the military camouflage community. Flame-resistant uniforms is another trend aimed at improving the safety and effectiveness of soldiers on the battlefield. The use of nanotechnology in military clothing is expected to lead to significant advancements in camouflage technology, offering improved concealment and protection for soldiers. Bionic adaptive camouflage materials can change their surface color depending on the optical environment, providing better visual stealth and adaptability on the modern battlefield. Photonic crystal infrared camouflage materials offer a solution for digital camouflage adaptive materials, addressing the growing demand for improved visual stealth in various environments. These trends demonstrate the ongoing advancements in military camouflage technology aiming to provide better concealment, protection, and adaptability for soldiers in diverse environments and situations. Uniforms of countries from around the world differ from the United States uniforms in terms of design, color, and pattern. While the United States military has attempted to create a global camouflage pattern, most armies operating globally opt to create their own designs. The ongoing research, development, and integration of cutting-edge camouflage strategies and technologies demonstrate the recognition of its significance in modern warfare. Camouflage remains a critical tool for military forces, enabling them to operate covertly, protect their personnel and equipment, and gaining tactical advantage on the battlefield. The wide use of camouflage, especially in the uniforms worn by our soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines, has had a significant impact on their ability to fight and win in a multitude of environments. It has changed the course of military history. To unlock more of history's secrets, click the screen right now to learn about 10 inventions that changed the world. And to never miss an episode, please subscribe and like this video. Until next time, I'm Dennis Gill for Revealing History.